Hello, church family. I've been at youth camp all week, and it has been a, an amazing joy watching our youth respond to God. And it's given me great hope about our future as we continue to deal with all kinds of issues and endure. It, it, it has been a wonderful time at youth camp. Our kids have, many of them, accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior. Many of them have uh, recommitted their lives to Christ and surrendered to ministry, and I was able to talk with so many of them, um, and, and it was just a huge joy. But, but I do need to speak about our church's continued response to deal with, with, with a huge issue, and that is the ongoing pandemic. Uh, we, we are going to stay in our phase two a little bit longer, and, and I need to talk to you about why. It's been unbelievable that we are now entering into our fifth month of dealing with COVID-19, and it's been one of the hardest seasons in my ministry life, probably one of the hardest seasons in our church's history. But throughout all of these days, one of the things that's made my heart just sing and, and, and really been an amazing blessing to me and to our whole community and everyone is how you as a church have handled all of this for, for almost five months with such grace and, and, and faithfulness. And over and over in scripture, it talks about how faithfulness is the true characteristic of, of real followers of Jesus Christ through difficulties that we will remain faithful to our Lord. And, and I believe that God has been glorified by our response so far, and nothing is higher than that, higher than glorifying God and we really have, and I and, and and it's been a blessing to me to watch all of you uh, glorify God in your faithfulness. Right now, we are in need of your monumental grace and faithfulness once again, because we are needing to adjust our together again plan. As you know, what, what we intended to do was to uh, bring everyone back in full force, do all of our ministries this upcoming Sunday on June 28th and what we called Welcome Home Sunday. And I was greatly looking forward to it. I wanted to celebrate with all of you. However, I feel that it's wise to, to hold off on that. Uh, so I'm asking for a little bit more patience. We always knew that our plan was contingent. And I feel that it's very right to extend phase two uh, and continue worshiping like we currently are, currently. We're worshiping at 9 a.m. and 10.30. And we also have a room for families of small children because we don't have a nursery. And we, we have a special room for people who don't want to sing out loud, but they do want to worship with one another. And so we have a room for, for not singing out loud. But we're going to continue in that, this phase two, a little bit longer. And, and so we're not going to come back full force just yet. Uh, I am going to be preaching some great sermons on the, the greatest celebrations in the Bible. And I want you to come back and to hear all of these. I want you to engage. But, but we're not going to engage in everything that our church is doing. And so when you come back, um, I, I want you to know that if you feel that it's wise for you to wear a mask, please do so. Um, and, and, and that is perfectly fine. If you need to wear a mask, uh, I encourage you to do that. But we are going to reschedule our Welcome Home Sunday. Um, and uh, so we're going to hold off bringing everyone back for small groups and Sunday school and Bible studies a little longer. And, and people have said, well, when will that be? And I, and I don't want to set a date yet because I'm reluctant to have to do so because I, I feel like I'll have to reschedule it again. I want to wait a little bit longer so that when we say here is Welcome Home Sunday, that it really will be a great date for us. Um, and, and, and I pray that this is the right decision that God wants for all of us, that there has been an uptick of COVID right here in Marble Falls. And I feel that this is the safest and best thing for everyone in our church. And so I want to ask that can you and will you endure a little bit longer with me? Uh, I do hold on to the great promise that, that our momentary troubles are achieving for us a glory that far outweighs all of the sufferings that we're enduring right now and that we will endure in the future. Now, during this time, um, I'm going to ask that you'll also do something with me, that you will please pray daily. But on top of that, would all of you join me to fast during one, one meal on Wednesdays? 
fast and allow the, the, the hunger pains when they come up to remind you to pray for our broken and, and, and sick world. And, 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 and maybe through this, God will give us a peace and, and he'll hear our prayers and he will begin to heal our land. Um, I, I, I'm so happy to be your pastor right now. I wouldn't want to be anywhere. This is, this is our moment together. And I'm going to keep coming to you and I'm going to preach the very best messages that I possibly can that I have prayed over and studied over. And I'm excited to see you on Sundays. But I want you to be well and I want you to be good and strong. And so church, I love you today. And, and so this is a message I have for you.